Hello students, welcome to maths class. In chapter sets, we have already done idea of sets, representation of sets, cardinality of a set. Today we will continue with types of sets. In types of sets, we have already discussed equal sets, equivalent sets, finite set, infinite set. Today we will do singleton set and empty set. So what do you mean by singleton set? A set contains exactly one element is called a singleton set. As you know, one is known as unit. Therefore, this set is also known as the unit set. Let's understand with examples. Here, set A is x such that x is prime and even. So, there is only one number which is prime as well as even. Therefore, in roster form, A will come 2 and its cardinal number is 1. As you can see, exactly one element lies in this set. Therefore, it is a singleton or unit set. Now, here set B is x such that x is a set of natural number which is neither prime nor composite. Now, tell me which natural number is there which is neither prime nor composite? That is only number 1. So, in roster form B set will come 1 and its cardinal number is also 1. Therefore, it is a singleton set. Now, here set D is x such that x is a set of months having less than 30 days. Now, which month is there which is having less than 30 days? That is only February. February is having 28 days and in leap year it is having 29 days. Therefore, only one element will come in set D that is February and its cardinal number is 1. Therefore, it is also a singleton set. Now students, try to write sensory organ of your book. Book is having eyes, nose, ear? No. Because it is a non-living thing and non-living things are having no sensory organs as human beings have. So, what do we call such sets? Right, empty, null or void set. A set having no element at all is called an empty set and it is donated by empty bracket or this symbol which is known as phi. Let's understand with examples. Here x such that x is a natural number where x is greater than 1 but less than 2. Now can you tell me any natural number which is greater than 1 and less than 2? No, there is no element. So we will write here empty bracket or phi. Now its cardinal number is 0. Now here set b is x such that x is an even prime number where x is greater than 5. Now just now I have told you that there is only one even prime number that is 2. But 2 is less than 5. So here no element will come in this set again. It is also a empty bracket or 5. Its cardinal number is also equals to 0. Therefore it is a null set, void set or an empty set. Now here I am having one more example. In which set C is x such that x is a set of months having more than 35 days. Now, as we know, February is having 28 or 29 days. Other months are having 30 or 31 days. So, there is no month or zero month which is having more than 35 days. So, I will write zero months. But, focus really hard for next minute. What we just wrote really wrong. Because 0 is not a month, it's a number. So we will write here empty bracket or phi and its cardinal number is 0. So students, remember if we will write 0 in bracket or phi in bracket, that doesn't mean it is an empty set. It implies that these are non-empty sets and only empty bracket or phi will represent empty set. So students, I hope you understood the concept of empty set and singleton set. Now, I hope you are able to do the worksheet given in your SNAP homework. But before that, must go through the YouTube links that are already mentioned in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.